is Caitlin. My pronouns are she, her, and this is Cats and Horror and Stitching. It's July 11th, so I figured it was about time I did a whip parade. Um, I did my last whip parade the beginning of January 2023, and then I really, I only started my channel in September of 2022, so I'm coming up on my anniversary. so I can't believe I made it a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you everybody who watches me, and everybody who's recently started to, to watch me, and subscribed, and liked, and everything. It's wonderful to get feedback and know that I'm not just talking to myself. Um, if you want to skip ahead a little bit, I'm going to have a little bit of a life update before I get into my whip parade. Um, so, I had meant to do this whip parade. Um, early last week, the first weekend of July, I was in a wedding and it was really, really busy. So I knew I wasn't going to get it out end of June and the very beginning of July, but I had planned on doing it last week. But unfortunately, last week was not a good week. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know why last week was not a good week. Last Wednesday, um, unfortunately, my cat Pennywise, my calico cat, she was hit by a car and she she passed away um, and obviously very unexpected I wasn't expecting that to happen she was only four um, it was a shock and I'm I'm still having a really hard time with it um, I had three cats so Penny was the oldest of four I have Simba who is two and Moon my kitten that you see occasionally on here yeah, anybody who has a pet, you know how hard it is to lose a pet that you love. They become your family, and Penny really was. She was my best friend. If a cat can be your best friend, she was my best friend. So, anyways, I don't, I don't want to cry, but um, yeah, it's been a rough week. Um, I don't want to get into discussions about whether or not cats should be indoors or outdoor pets. That's not what this is about. Um, it, yeah, it's been a rough week and uh, I miss her. And uh, You can see lots of picture, pictures of her on my Instagram. Um, I just explained in my Stitch With Me how my this in, the Instagram um, that's now Cats and Horror and Stitches Oh My, um, it started out as an Instagram just about Penny picture of her. So, the, so my Instagram was originally called Pennywise the Calico and uh, then it kind of evolved from there. So she was with me for four years and I loved her. She was a beautiful cat and <laughs> a grumpy, <laughs> grumpy grouchy calico that <laughs> didn't really like anybody but me and my kids but I loved her and I'm really really gonna miss her. So um, yeah, <laughs> anyways, thank you to everybody who reached out on Instagram to give me their condolences and, and just say that they knew what it's like and, and know how much it hurts to lose a pet. It means a lot to me. Um, yeah, so, okay, so, <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's why I just was not in the mood to film. <laughs> whip parade last week. Um, even on the weekend still, I was run down and tired. Um, probably everybody knows that, you know, your emotions affect how you physically feel and having suffered from depression in the past, um, when I'm sad and depressed I get very tired and I want to sleep a lot and uh, I tried to do that but, you know, you know. <laughs> so, Excessive sleep mixed with insomnia, so it's been a hard week. Um, but yeah, on the, on the plus side, my kids uh, on Saturday, they left to go for the first time ever at a uh, sleepaway camp for a whole week. So I am child free all week and it's, I mean, I'm used to, used to being child free because my kids go to their fathers and I do have time without them, but knowing they're with their dad and but and then versus dropping them off 
somewhere else where they're not with either parent for a week for the first time feels very odd. And um, anyways, I, he I heard from the camp. They asked if we wanted to check in during the week. So I dropped them off on Saturday at camp and they called me today to say, you know, it's going really well. They're both having a great time. They're loving it. Uh, I haven't gotten a call from the camp saying someone's in in cons an inconsolable crying, please come get them. So I'm, I assumed that it was going well. Um, so I, I'm really looking forward to when they come back on Saturday and hearing all of their stories. I, I went to the same camp when I was 12. Um, although when I went to that camp, it was an all-girls camp. Now it's co-ed. So I had a blast. I always loved going to camp. And I really, really thought that my kids would, but it's still, you know, that first time, you don't know how they're going to react. Are they going to be too homesick? So I'll have to wait and see on Saturday to find out what they say. But I think, I think they're having a good time. So, and it's a great week for going because it is ridiculously hot and humid and sticky around here this this week and last week. Two days last week we had heat warnings, um, which every once in a while growing up I remember getting a heat warning, but now of course they seem to be happening more and more often. So hot. Uh, you know, have to stay inside, in the air conditioning, going swimming, it's just, you don't even want to leave the house because it's just disgusting. So, but that's summer, right? <laughs> As my mom says, don't complain because it'll be snowing in a few months. So, <laughs> anyways, um, so that's the end of my life update. Um, good and bad. everything. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to do a whip parade, mid-year whip parade. Uh, this isn't going to be a super long whip parade, unlike some other boss tubers. I love watching the whip parades that are like two hour, hours long. Uh, it's not me though, because I, I can't handle that many whips. Even as it is with the whips I have, I'm like, I need to finish some. Um, but I have my list, and I have my stack, so uh, let's, we're going to start, I tried to put them in order of oldest to newest, I also have a new start, that is at the very bottom of my pile since it's the newest, so you get to see that at the very end. So yeah, I've got my list up here, I think I showed this in January, so this is my bullet journal, there's a little sticker there, and I've got my cross stitch here. So when I started my bullet journal before the new year, this was all the whips that I ended 2022 with, including my uh, new year, new start, which I guess technically your new year, new start is supposed to be in the new year, but I started mine on December 31st. Um, and then any new starts that I've had this year and any finishes. So I've only finished four this year, but I do have a lot of bigger projects, so that's probably why I haven't <laughs> finished many. I do have a couple I think that are pretty close though, so I should be able to knock out a couple more starts, or a couple more finishes before the end of 2023. So let's get started. Uh, but yeah, other than the new start, uh, you've seen all of this before, so I've got something in my eye. Okay, so my oldest whip. Old Whip is by the Witchy Stitcher, and this is the Chopping Mall Sal. So, let me get this nice and close so you can see. Go. So, I did finish all the frame at once, and now I'm slowly working through all of the shops. Uh, I've done a lot of the shops this year. So I did started this in 2021. I finished all of the outline of the shopping mall and the, the top part in 2021. And I think I might have started the middle Chucky um, in 2022, but the rest, I don't think I did really anything in 2022. So the rest has all been in 2023. I've been working through this. So right now, I am currently working on 
this right here. I forget this guy's name. It's the weird clown from House of Thou a Thousand Corpses. And then right here is going to be uh, Reagan from The Exorcist. So that one. And yeah, it's coming along. So, I mean, not, it's not going to be a finish anytime soon, I don't think, but yeah, maybe in 2024. We'll aim for that. So this is just on a piece of uh, 14 Count Ada from Michaels. It doesn't really have a name. I always just called it sort of antique Ada because it's got this kind of beigey, browny, kind of looks like antique paper. So I started this before, <coughs> excuse me. I started this before I found floss tube and before I discovered hand dyed Adas. <laughs> so everything I got before, uh, before mid 2022, uh, or even early 2022, um, I was just from Michael's, whatever I could get there, which was usually either just white, black, or this. I think they might have had like a cream. They do seem to be expanding though. They've got a few different ones that are like, I guess they're supposed to mimic hand dyed, but they're, they're not. Like they're obviously probably done by a machine, but they look kind of modeled in different colors. They've got a few of those. So I mean, they're good if you really want to start something, you need a piece of Ada and don't want to wait for something to arrive and order and you're happy with just, you know, the, the four or five colors they have on hand. So anyways, yeah. So Richie Stitcher, The Chopping Mall. I don't know when exactly this was a sale, what year. Uh, I bought the pattern in 2020, but it didn't start it until 2020. 2021. So yeah, I don't know. So my next one, this is in just another Kitty bag. I believe this is a Gamma's Treasures. Gamma Treasures is on Etsy. And this is holding my flamingo piece. Actually, I can get it open. Uh, so this one, I also started, oh, I started it February 12th, 2022. I'm looking down here because I forgot that I actually wrote down the date that I started things. So the chopping mall I started July 7th, 2021. So this I started February 12th, 2022 for February. Finally learning how to say that. Um, I don't have a picture of what this is going to look like when it's finished. Unfortunately, I don't have, hang on. Let's see, it does say, sorry, remember to look at the camera. Uh, I forget who this is by. I will put it down here. Uh, it's by an Etsy shop. Uh, it's the same Etsy shop that I bought double helix that I have in my basement that you might have seen if you watched my uh, walkthrough of all of my finished pieces and, and everything around here. So yeah, so I don't have tons done because I only work on this really in February, but yeah, coming along. So I'm getting very close to this page. It's full, split between four pages. So it's going to be these pink flamingos on the top and then it's down here it's like so it's a bigger piece down here it's going to be the reflection of the flamingos in sort of purples and blues so it's like they're standing in water so it's a pretty big piece I've got a bigger piece of um, this is also just on uh, a 14 count sort of a cream Ada also from Michaels um, but yeah it's coming along it was going extremely slowly to start, and then I finally got fed up and added it uh, to Pattern Keeper, and that is helping a lot. I find when there's a lot of confetti, that, and it's all, like confetti's not so bad, but it's really bad when they're all really, really similar, like a whole bunch of different shades of pink. Like 
it can get really, really, really confusing. So that was the problem I was having with this. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah. Anyways, it's going to be really, really pretty when it's finally done. I'm just not in a particular rush to get it done. Um, I bought this pattern. I have a jumping fox. The double helix. I think there was one more pattern that I bought. Um, I wanted the tr double helix and it was like buy three get one free or something so I was like oh, okay I'll just you know I'll just buy that so I got a whole bunch of patterns that I haven't actually done <laughs> that I ordered so yeah so that is number two for my whip parade so number three you've seen this before and I have worked on this this year fairly recently this is my Van Gogh skull my first full coverage and I'm actually making some progress on this so I haven't worked on this I think since May but I took this when I went to Stitch North and was able to get I think about three these three rows the two completed and one getting there so yeah, I mean you can see the skull it looks like something now. Um, yeah. So again, this is another one that I had originally been doing it. Um, well, first of all, when I originally was doing it, uh, it was before I knew about gridded Ada. It was before I knew about Pattern Keeper. So I have, I think it's still in here. I was just doing it on a piece of white Ada and I found the middle and I started working on the skull and I was exclusively doing all the black. And then I put it away, COVID hit, life happened, whatever. And then when I pulled it out, like a year and a half later, I was like, I have no idea how to figure out where I am with this. And that's when I had learned about gridded data. So I was like, that might be a better idea. Gridded data is definitely a lifesaver when it comes to coverage so yep yeah. uh, this is a 14 count gridded Ada that I got off of Etsy from a store called Millions of Stitches um, it's a great cross stitch and embroidery supply store out of uh, well, it's on Etsy but it's out of Toronto area they have tons and tons of stuff so if you're looking for any cross stitch supplies definitely check them out um, and this pattern oh this is another one that I'm not sure who the designer of this pattern is but I will put it down below um, I believe this this pattern though I did get get it on Etsy it's not available anymore though and I don't think the shop is even there anymore and this is not in the front bag this is just in a purple bag that I got from Dollarama so that's number three Sorry, I'm distracted because Moon's over there squatting at a light naked. Oh, it's because there's a fly. That's what. She's chasing a fly around the house. She's my bug killer. Yeah. Okay. So my next one. Oh, so. Again, forgot to say. The Van Gogh, Van Gogh skull. I restarted the one I showed you. January 15th, 2022. Oh, so those were out of order. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> only by a little bit. So my next one, this start was May 27th, 2022. And this is my Stranger Things piece. I've gotten a lot of work up and done on this in the last month because I pulled it out to work on Whip Down Sal, Whip, Whip Down Sal or Whip Down 2023, uh, started by Michelle Van Eed. So uh, I finished all of this, all the top, um, and now I'm working on this, although the upside down, you can see that's the Demogorgon. The nice thing about this pattern is, even though this is upside down, <laughs> I just flipped it over when I was working on it. It feels less confusing than stitching something that's upside down. So this is just on a 16 count white data from Michaels. After I started it, I realized 
I would have liked to have done it on black Ada so that these guys were all black in the, in the middle. Um, so I think I might end up going in and filling in all of this blank space with black or uh, black etoile. I haven't decided which, but it's good. I don't necessarily like how it looks in white. But I think I could probably finish this by the end of the year. Once I sit down and start working on it, it goes really, really quickly. And yeah. So I'm happy with that. It'd be nice to get it finished because I do have some other, sorry, oops, dropping needles. I have some other uh, spooky themed patterns that I would like to work on for my basement, for my movie area. Um, so yeah, I would like to finish this one so that I can get some other stuff. Same thing with the chopping wall. It's another reason to get that done so I can put it up. I am definitely, I mean, I love cross stitching for the process. I love doing it, but I'm definitely a finish cross stitcher. I like having the stuff to put in my walls. I pick patterns that I want to display or else that I want to give away to someone. So that keeps me motivated to work on it knowing that I want to be able to put this up somewhere. So, anyways, I don't know why my nose is really itchy today, but if it seems it's, I've got a whole lot of lights on, which I don't usually have because there's a storm rolling in and it's really dark outside, even though it's only like five o'clock. <coughs> I don't usually film in the evening, but I wanted to get this done. I didn't want to wait till next weekend. So my next one is from June 7th, 2022. And this is my Supernatural Sal, which is another witchy stitcher sal, which I did not keep up with. <laughs> but I'm also, I'm gonna work on it. I just, I haven't done much lately. All right, well, I got DMC flying everywhere. All right. So this, oh, more DMC flying everywhere. So here we go. I don't think there's any change since the last time I showed this. I haven't worked on it since. on that. I think back in January I said, oh, if I do one one creature a month, I should be done by the end of the year. But I think I've only done one or two this year. So yeah, there's seven left. I mean, I still could possibly finish it by the end of the year. Oh yeah. And there's like a tiny bit of the bottom um, frame but I love it. It looks really cool and I do really want to finish it. It's just not calling to me at the moment so maybe when it gets to be spooky season. I mean it is practically spooky season season but yeah I do like it. This is on some printed uh, 14 count Ada from picture this plus. I can't remember what it's called though sure it's all right but yeah picture this plus very pretty there you go. I'll get back to it it'll happen you know get distracted with other things and this is in a bag I made myself in some spooky fabric that I've been doing pretty the insides just stars I would like to make some more bags. I bought some fabric. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it. That is number. That is number five. See? So, well, we're not even halfway. So, I mean, there still are more. Okay, so my next one. Oh, I have just got random DMC everywhere. Put that over there. The next one I have is my Christmas gnome, which I started on November 18th, 2022, in the hopes of finishing it for Christmas 2022, and I did not finish it for Christmas 2022. Um, I'm very, very close though. I think I once again picked too many things that I wanted to do um, for Christmas and then just didn't get it 
done. So um, all that is, there's left to do for this guy is um, backstitch. That's it. He's so cute. I'll figure out how to hold this. So yeah, yeah. Take his little cup of coffee. Not coffee. Little cup of hot chocolate. And very cute. He just needs backstitch. So he'll definitely get done and framed to be able to be put out for this Christmas. So maybe that could be, I know people are doing Christmas in July. So maybe that's something if I just am really in the mood to do backstitching. Uh, that could be something I could do. So I just love the colors of this one. I don't know. The chocolatey browns and the red. And the orangish red. I got that guy. He's almost done. Then I gotta find new Christmas projects for this year. I do have a couple that are not done, but um, I have had my eye on a couple of different Christmas patterns that I'd like to do that I just haven't started. So, yeah. But trying to do <laughs> no spend July not going particularly well. I've had one day that I didn't spend any money and then I've had three days that all I spent money on were necessities like gas or groceries. And it's the 11th. Yeah, so that's not going that great, but I'm trying. From my bank account's perspective, I'm doing better. <laughs> it's just the actual not spending anything is difficult. <laughs> so. Um, I Saturday was going to be a day where I thought I won't spend anything and then I needed to get gas which I mean you can't help it you need to get gas and then <laughs> I made it it was like nine o'clock on Saturday night and I was like okay all I did was buy a necessity necessities this is it's okay it's okay and then I remembered that it was um, night spirit studio day and I wanted to buy something from her shop <laughs> so I mean I only spent like four dollars on something that wasn't a necessity, but I did technically buy something that wasn't a necessity. So I'm not going to do any haul or anything in this video. It's, this is just going to be um, a whip grade. So you'll get to see some of the stuff that I've purchased that when I'm not supposed to be purchasing things <laughs> in the next video. So anyways, so this is... Uh, Okay, I started this on Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2022. Uh, this is a Barbara Anna Designs pattern. And this is called the Key. You can see a little box tail. Oh my God, I'm gonna move some strings around. Yeah. So I originally started this, well, no, yes. I was gonna say I started it thinking it would be done for Christmas, but that's not correct because I started it on Christmas Eve so that would have been really dumb. No, uh, I started this at Christmas with the intention of giving it to my sister for her birthday which is at the end of January but I didn't manage to finish it by the end of January so maybe she'll get it for this Christmas. It's not technically a Christmas piece. Uh, I do have the picture here that I can show you but when I look at it I just think Christmas. These look like little holly back berries, and there's snowflakes on her, and then these little presents. No, they're not. I don't know. It just screams Christmas to me, so it was a Christmas start. I'm probably almost half done. Yeah. Sorry. None of this is. Uh, ironed. The word I am looking for is ironed. None of these are ironed. I don't own an iron. <laughs> when I need to iron something, I ask my mom and she either lends me an iron or she does it for me because <laughs> she likes to iron apparently. But let's see. Yeah. So I really like it. It's very pretty. Um, this is just some forest green 14 count Ada that I got from Millions of Stitches on Etsy. So, yeah. so that is the 
with number. Losing track. Not losing track, I'm just not keeping track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven. Okay. That's not too bad. Alright, so this was also uh, a Christmas Eve start. No, oh, okay, sorry. I screwed up. I was looking at the wrong one. Chris, the, the key I started on November 28th, so I did intend to try and finish it for Christmas for my sister, and I didn't. And then I intended to finish it for a birthday, and I didn't. <laughs> so this one I started on Christmas Eve because I just wanted something else, and I saw this uh, online and decided to get it. This is from the Stitch Crypt which is a cross-stitch designer that I saw on Instagram that I follow. And this is the Christmas Creeper? Crawler. Creepy Crawler. <sighs> this is a cryptid, and I have it on a piece of scrap, so I didn't get a whole lot done. Just a bit of the tree and the snow. Yeah, that's about it. So. This is definitely something I only really wanted to work on at Christmas, so once Christmas was done, I put it aside. Done it. And it's just on, this is, oh, this is some scrap Ada from Pictures Plus, uh, Storm Ada. Scrap Storm Ada that I had from another project. And this is pretty tiny, you can see the whole thing is pretty small, so. Okay, so the next one, this one I remember. This was December 31st because this was my New Year's start. And I had people vote on which one they wanted me to, put, to work on on uh, an Instagram poll. And this is the Rainbow Garden by Una, Una Buena Pieza. I'm possibly getting better at pronouncing that. I was working on this one a lot at Stitch North, and I got a lot of people come over and have comments about it, saying how pretty it was, that they've seen it, but they've never seen somebody working on it. It's just, oh yeah, it's just so nice. Like, all the colors and the little tiny things. Yeah. So, it's quite fun to work on, too, because it's all, it's like, lots of little things, <laughs> little individual flowers and ghosts and cat heads and whatnot, and so you feel really accomplished because you get all these little pieces done. Alright, I'm trying to hold this so you can see it. I'll just hold it in front of my face. You don't need to see me, you're only interested in the cross strips anyways. So I did finish, this is printed on six, over six pages, um, like paper pages, so I finished one, and I'm almost done the second page. Like I said, I did a lot of work on this at uh, Stitch North, so it is really, really pretty though. Now I'm getting into some of the colors I enjoy more, because <laughs> it starts with like the yellows and the oranges, and reds and purples and blues. I need to work on this one too because I do really like it and probably should iron it because it's looking pretty ratty. Um, there's a lot of dangly threads too because, you know, all the pieces are so small so you don't generally use a whole strand of thread so then I just stick it coming up somewhere else so that I can use it again because there's probably going to be another little piece that needs it right next to it and blah blah blah. So yeah, so it looks really messy but when it's done, it's going to look really, really nice. And it's just on a piece of 14 count Black Ada from Michaels. Because this is one of those pieces where I bought the pattern and I was like, I want to start this immediately. And it's going to look good on black and I don't feel like waiting for a fancy fabric to arrive from somewhere else. So I just went to Michaels and bought it. And that was the last 
Oscar from 2022. So how many did I start in 2022? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I started 10 new projects in 2022. I did finish two. <laughs> So those are ones that you've seen recently. I finished uh, Sushi Cat for my son and The Princess Mermaid for my daughter. So those are my two other new starts from last year. So, yeah. Now we are into 2023. Halfway through 2023. So my first new start is 2023, and you've seen this one a lot because I've been working on it a lot. It is The Martian. I'm getting so close to being done this one. Worked a lot on this. Um, about, let's say a week before the end of June, I sort of gave up on the idea of getting it done for the first week of July. I probably could have powered through and done it, um, but chances are I'm going to see my friend before her birthday in August, and if not, I can pretty easily send it to her. So. I just felt I just needed a break. I was working really hard to try and get it done, and then I was just like, I can't <laughs> sit here and work on this one anymore. I need a break. But I'm getting very close. Um, this is almost all. There, well, down here, there's going to be another strap like this, and then the rest of the helmet, and then this is almost exclusively like off white, and then some more of the background, and then I've just got the. I'm going to have to science the shit out of it. The statement from the Martian right there. Yep, and I saw that the movie The Martian is on Disney Plus, so maybe I'll watch it while I complete this. So this should be completed by the end of July, first week of August, because I do want to get it um, framed into my friend for her birthday. Yeah, so hopefully this will be finished number five for 2023. And my only other full coverage that I've ever done, but it's not a very big full coverage. So then my next new start for this year was, uh, oh, The Martian I started on January 13th, and this one I started on my birthday, which was March 15th, and I barely worked on this. Oops, where did I just drop it? Okay. Um, this is Watch the World Burn. So this is by the Lazy, no, not Lazy, Happy Sloth. Um, the Happy Sloth also did the Martian pattern. I love the Martian pattern. It's been wonderful to stitch. I don't enjoy stitching this one. Probably because most of the outline is black and it's just, I'm just not enjoying it at all. So I haven't worked on it much. I might, maybe once the Martian is done, um, I might upload this pattern to Pattern Keeper and think if that, and see if that makes it easier to work on. Because I do really like the picture, I'm just not enjoying the stitching on it at all. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, so this is on a 14 count Ada from Michaels. This is one of the ones I was talking about that's just kind of, it's like orangey yellow mottled. Yeah. So, I mean, I do really want to finish it. I don't want to give it up. I just am not enjoying it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Got a lot of other stuff to work on. And I bought a bunch of new patterns. So this was my next start. So that was March 15th, and then I didn't have another new start until oh that's not true. I did a stitch a tiny Stitch North ink pattern before Stitch North, but I finished that. This was the next one. I started this on May 24th. And this is a tiny modernist cat tapestry. And I did work on this one a bunch this past week. After I lost Penny, I decided to work on this. I'm going to make all the cats look like my cats. So um, this one up here, I'm changing to be all black for moon. Uh, so before I had Penny, I had a cat named Stevie, and she was a tuxedo cat, so I'm going to leave that cat like Stevie. Um, and one of these I'm going to be making, I think this one I'll make to look like Simba, and then this one I'm going to make to look like Penny. 
so I will have to kind of sit down and think about how to do that because she's the calico. I want to make it look like her. Yeah. And a little I don't know, memorial piece. Uh, that's the worst part about being a pet owner and lover is you rack up a lot of pets that you've had to say goodbye to <laughs> over the years. Um, I was pretty lucky. lucky. I only had two pets, well, three pets growing up. Uh, when I was born, my family already had a dog, Beauty, who's a Sheltie, and we had her until I was seven, and then she was 13 at that time and passed away. Um, when I was four, I begged and begged and begged my parents to let me have a cat, and my dad finally gave in, and we got Marble, who was a Calico, and she lived to be 17, so I had her my whole life up until I was in university, and she finally passed away. 17. And when I was 10, so three years after our dog Beauty had died, my parents finally let us get another dog. So we got another Sheltie named Wiley. Um, and Wiley lived to be 13 as well. So when I was in university. So really the only time I lived without a pet was when I was away at university. Because as soon as I moved back after university, finished university in 2006, and I adopted Stevie in April or May of 2007. So yeah, I've, I've never gone very long in my whole life without having pets. So yeah, it's hard to say goodbye to them, but I love them. I'm never gonna stop having pets. I'm an animal person. They make me so happy. They're my family. So and luckily my kids are the same way. They're big animal lovers. So anyways, back to whips. So this is on uh, this is on my own my only piece of linen. This is boom 28 count linen and this is from Keely step Keely tent stitches shop the sewing shop. Um, sorry again kind of wrinkly. It looks like a bobtail cat because I haven't finished the tail. But yeah, so this cat was supposed to be gray in the pattern. This is actually, the this color, this floss, it's 3371, which is actually a really, really, really dark brown. But on the green, it looks black. So I kept it as black. So I think the black, if I had done actual 310 black, it might have been too harsh. But it does look like black, so yeah, my little moon. So, and then the flowers and stuff. So I am enjoying this. Um, I do have to pay a little bit closer attention with the linen that I do it with the Ada, because the Ada, Ada, um, the holes around, you know, the holes are much more defined, so it's a lot easier to kind of just find them by feel if you need to, whereas, you know, I'm doing this two over two, so I have to really pay attention. But I'm getting better, so I don't have to pay as close attention as I did when I first started using the Ada. I'm a little bit better at finding where I need to be. I'm enjoying it, and I really, really love this color. It's so pretty. Perfect for the cat tapestry. So it's almost at the end. See, I told you this was not going to be a long whip parade. So this is my second to last start of 2023. Not going to be the last start of 2023. We're only halfway through the year. But So this one, again, talked about this a lot. This we started for Stitch for Sage. This is Night Spirit Studios Witches and Demons. Oops, that's not the right page. All right, Witches and Demons wood cut, and you've seen this all over, I'm sure, because a lot of people are stitching it. This one and Unexpected Visitor are getting a lot of love. So, yeah. This is on a piece of 16 count Ada that I got from Hand Dyed by Rolanda on Etsy. Um, it doesn't have a name. It's just kind of like a pinkish brown. 
brick kind of color. But I really like it. And there we go. I'm making a lot of progress. It's really fun to see the characters come to life, life as you're stitching them. And this wool does seem to get a better, better grab of it. So uh, it's uh, four pages, I, or no, six pages, printed pages. So I'm on, on, just started the third page. That's down here and up here. So uh, people on Instagram, a few different floss divers are talking about doing Stitch for Sage Sunday. So um, my last two Sundays have been very busy, so I haven't <laughs> gotten to do that. But this Sunday, this Sunday, hopefully I will remember and work on it and remember to join it. And it's probably going to go up in here once it's done. Yep. So. The last one. This one was started on July 9th. That was two days ago. Two days. Oh, just got stuff falling all over the place. I showed you this when I bought it. This is my first ever Mirabilia at the Met. This beautiful flapper girl. 1920s. So, and I had a pretty good start. It's on a huge piece of fabric. Let's see if you can get it up there. Um, so all the browns are just DMC. The blues are uh, specialty floss. It's the water lilies. Hang on, let me see what they're called. and water lilies. So there's four specialty flosses and the rest are DMC. Uh, there's some gaps in there because there's going to be beads but I didn't purchase any of the beads yet. Let me get it up close. So um, I started right at the top in the middle and I'm kind of working along this top part working along this top part and then I got to her feather and then hopefully gonna get into her hair and start working on her. So, it's really pretty and I'm really enjoying stitching on it. So, and I have to say I've never used fancy floss before. The Karen Water Lilies is so soft. <laughs> I can see why people are obsessed with specialty floss now because it really is very soft and nice to use. Sorry, I'm trying to look up the tag on this. Um, oh, there we go. This is, geez. Uh, so this is from 123 Stitch. It is, I don't know what the, it's 16 count opal. And I don't know who it's by, I'm sorry. Um, the call for fabric was linen. But because the Mirabilias are a little bit more complicated and they've got beading and stuff, I really didn't want to do it on linen. I wanted to. I'm more comfortable with Ada, even though I have discovered that I like linen for something that's more complicated. I just wanted to go with what I know well. And this is really pretty. So it suggested a brown. So I got this kind of, I don't know, beigey. I don't know, hot, hot chocolate brown? Or what, what color would you call this? It says opal, but I don't feel like that's the best descriptive description of it. Yeah. I'm enjoying this, and I think when I'm done filming this video, I'm probably going to go work on this some more. So that's it. Yep, that was all of my whips. Um, like I said, I have done some shopping. 
Uh, I do have some new purchases. Despite it being no by July, <laughs> I do have some purchases. Uh, and I will show them in the next video that I make. Uh, I am trying to not buy much. I bought some floss because I needed it to work on the net. Um, but I'm not buying any more fabric for now. And I'm just going to try my very best to not buy anything, finish some of the stuff I have started. Um, I'm pretty close to fis finishing a couple of things. So hopefully once I get those done, I can start some new stuff. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a comment. How many whips are you comfortable having? So I have, did I end up counting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have 14 whips. Um, I don't know if I could do any more. I feel like if I had any more, it would make me anxious. I also don't have enough bags. I'd have to make bags before I could have any more whips because already, already the two witchy stitcher pieces are bunking up in the same bag. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So how many whips do you have? Um, do you care? Like, do you just keep starting and not care that you have tons of whips? Or do you like to try and keep them reasonably un under control? Uh, you can comment down here. Something I forget every single video to say if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. Tell your cross-stitching friends. Um, I got a lot of positive feedback on my Stitch With Me and people enjoyed that and they enjoyed my chit-chat about horror movies. Um, who was it? Someone commented wanting a list of more of my favorite horror movies because they were looking for suggestions. I think a few people have, have uh, commented that so I'll have to do that again and, and talk more horror movies because I've definitely got more that I like and that I can suggest so yeah anyways enjoy your July uh, happy stitching enjoy the sun if you're somewhere where it's sunny and I will see you next time bye